Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJA9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions in another five-star bronze character gameplay preview video. And today, we got Daniel Bryan, the Yes Man, Classic DB, and probably the person that I had been looking ahead to five-star to longer than anybody since way before four-star. Everybody looked because he's got, you know, he's an acro, so he was running double blue moves. And everybody's seen another blue move down at the bottom that was a uh, submission. And since he's got a blue move that makes more blue gems, it was kind of interesting to see that, you know, maybe he could just continuously feed himself, run a three color, uh, you know, a three blue setup. And I'm excited to show that to you guys today. We're going to stick with attacking Yokozuna again for this video because he's got the health to keep up with our moves for a little bit. And we're not getting nerfed by a bunch of medals out here. Now, if I do some previews on some more OP characters, you better believe I'm going to go out there against the metal guys to uh, show you how they can stomp through them too. But for these guys, I don't want the matches to take that long because we want to get through three matches again. Three star, four star, five star builds. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, Daniel Bryan, the yes man. The yes man. Got nothing, uh, nothing going on except some raising arms over there. There's a, there's a boost. I don't even know what it is. And uh, oh, what did that do? Just change his hair. I swore that didn't always have that other shirt on that one. Like it used to have a different shirt on him, but it's whatever. Do we want long hair, Daniel, or uh, beard, Daniel? Let's go with beard, Daniel. He's got green moves, dealing 500 more damage for that gear. Let's look in his poster. Training ability. Moves that generate purple gems will create four more purple gems at 5k. So another essential uh, gem generating trainer. So typically when people build acros back in the day, I don't know how they do it nowadays. But when we were building our acros, you always went Seth Rollins NXT first, Daniel Bryan second, or vice versa one or the other but these were the first two because you needed that training ability and they were pretty good offensively so lincoln gear we went over the gears he's got a nexus link 40 percent less damage from black gems and then smackdown and pg era links both start with one extra uh move point we're gonna look down here and see that the shoot kicks and the yes lock will be his four and five star moves we will get into them so here we go with a three-star move set. So if you were running Daniel Bryan at the three-star level, obviously scale down a lot of the damage and stuff on this. But this is how I was running him. Uh, we were going uh, the Yes Knee 10 Charge Finisher. Deal 63,836 damage to try to pin the opponent. We got the Yes Flip. Uh, seven charge deal 25,190 damage and make five random yellow gems into blue gems now both of those were blue moves keep that in mind and then the Russian leg sweep green move eight charge deal 26,152 damage and choose five gems to make into multiply gems of strength three so we're going to look at the entourage I'm going to run here with my three star build here I'm going to show Lawler uh, and Sami Zayn on here because uh, that 45% blue move, blue move damage when you already have a huge move damage amount for a move. So that finisher is looking to do 92,000 damage and the yes flip 36,000 damage. Now that's like 130,000 baseline on the two moves there. So we also got Trick Andre to charge blue faster and Tozawa to help against the submission. So... Again, match 177 Hell Mode, Yokozuna, he is my match of the night. I did the Rollins and the Bryan videos on the same night, so that's why you're seeing me attack the same guy. I just decided he was going to be the best opponent for these videos. So we do get blue on turn one. Now, we will have that blue move on turn two. So now the question comes in, do you try to just go for the green charge right now? I don't know. I just want to go ahead and hit that. I want to go ahead and hit that finish real quick. I'm going to hit the finish first. 92. Cause this is a guaranteed 92,000 damage right here. And then we can use the yes flip to try and refill the blue again. And I don't want to miss out on any of that MP if uh, if we make... 
Now, I knew he was going to wipe a lot of yellow, but we'll see where the uh, gems fall here. Now we can make five random yellow into blue. And we got a blue break, two of them. Which one's going to be better? I'm going to go up top here. Now he's going to get a chance to get some stuff going. Okay, we might not even get to the green move. The two blue moves, again, like, back, you know, in the three-star days, like, people always were pretty reliant on just two moves. I'm going to go ahead and hit this one first this time. Don't ask me why. Because it refills itself, that's why you do it. Just gonna go ahead and take the yes knee again because he ain't got nothing charged up bam it's like you know 100k 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 every time you hit it using uh daniel bryan against showboats is extra useful too because he turns the yellow gems into blue gems as you see yoko has yet to fill up the bear hug so we're gonna keep wiping these off the board I'm going to go ahead and take this purple away that he's going to want to break. His protect gems also kind of help keep him in the match too, if you notice. Now we can choose gems to make into multiply gems here. And as you can see, I got blue all over this side. So wham! He's lucky he had protect gems and that's only 90k. But pretty solid performance with that move set right there. As expected, though, he should win against a four-star gold guy. But as you can see, that move set still flows really well. Really effective numbers. I mean, he he's not super fast. He's just consistently going to hit him hard. So fun to use. Will take some damage for sure that way. But let's go ahead and take a look at his four-star move and see how we can plug that in. Eight health pack win. Okay, the four star move, the shoot kicks. Yellow move, nine charge, deal 47,556 damage and increase the strength of your multiply gems by two. So, what I'm going to do with this is let's run the double greens here. We can get this other green move in. Uh, one move we're not going to use here, the yellow move, the first yellow he had, the jumping in Zaguri. Deal 20,366 damage and make four random purple gems into green gems. You could have used that at the three-star level, but there's no way that was more effective than running the double blue moves in my mind. So you could have ran that move with the two greens, you know, before, but it just wasn't going to be feasible. This one, uh, maybe it's not going to be the best move set, but it sounds fun, increasing the strength of multiply gems by two, right? So now what we're going to want to do is get rid of Lawler, and we're going to want to put Steel on here. We want to get to these green moves. We're going to get rid of Sami Zayn and let's get Matt Hardy on here. And let's get Andre out of here and get Rikishi on here. Because we need to get to them shoot kicks if we can. It's a nine charge yellow. Man, we might be better off putting Akam on there trying to get up to that sucker. But if we get to the choose multiply gems move, we can use that to fill yellow possibly too. So we'll see how this goes. So the idea here, load the board with multiply gems, kick them up a notch with the uh, other move. And do big damage that way. 
There's not going to really be any recycling here, though, so. Choose one column. Did we even uh, call out the missile dropkick deal 18,430 damage to choose a column to make into multiply gems? Because I don't think we did. Which that's going to be excellent because that's just what I was talking about. And it was a visual glitch. It shows that it wasn't that Hardy wasn't going to affect this move, but he is. And look at that yellow to green combo. And all my moves are full for next turn and a serious cascade there. Look at that 216,000 damage right off the jump. There we go. I wanted him to kick out because I got all my moves charged. I would have restarted the match. Okay, let's get a column going again. Let's just do this for sure. I mean, this isn't even going to matter. I'm just going to put it on loot boxes because this is probably going to be over. Okay, now we can hit the yellow move. And it's doing decent damage, like 47,000 damage, it said, or 45. Now we got all times seven up there, guys. Times sevens. It's actually ridiculous. So no matter which way I shake this, it's still going to be the same. We'll just go like that. Boom. Oh, and the blue cascade. 173,000 damage again there, and the greens were all full up. That's actually a super awesome move set right there, guys. That's actually super powerful right there. That is an excellent, fun way to run Daniel Bryan if you have him at four star. With the choose multiply gem move like that, like you can make your match anywhere. So while it doesn't recycle in theory like you're always like if you can break either of your colors you could choose the multiply gems on those and go with it so that one was pretty awesome too daniel bryan here i gotta say guys not a bad choice for five star so now let's get into the main event the five star build what everybody's always wanted to see with this man should we go up against somebody, uh, should I go up against somebody tougher with this one? Because this, this moveset's a beast right here. We're bringing the yes lock into play, guys. We're going all blue, so you know Lawler's getting on there. The yes lock submission is a nine charge blue, place four sub gems and do 10,396 damage for three turns. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength two. Now, I have practiced this with Hardy on there, and it puts the multiply gems of strength four. So you can put the sub gems on blue, and if you can manage to break one of those later, then it'll autofill all your moves back up for sure. So I could probably still just run it that way because I probably get, uh, we'll probably get nerfed by some stuff, but. We can show it two ways. We'll see how fast the match goes. Let's get back out here. Uh, I mean, I could just smack Yokozuna with that set, I'm sure. Let's go look at who I've got unlocked here. Round two hard mode. Who we got? Kenny. Savage. Andre the Giant. Let's try to bop this guy. He's got some serious uh, metal reductions on, I'm sure. All gem defense, all gem damage. Receive less from all... Yeah, like he's going to nerf my gem damage really bad here. So let's see what happens. This moveset would absolutely smack Yokozuna, though. As if the other ones didn't, but... Boom, you match blue there, and all of them are full. 
It's like wherever you want to start. Now, he has no moves charged up. So, I'm going to start with the yes knee. Okay? Just going to get that. And and I'm only... He's got move uh, reduction on. So, I'm only doing 50,000 damage with it. But... It is a way to pin him. So, you don't have to worry about that. Then, we're going to go ahead and get to the yes lock. You will change yellow to blue. So, putting these gems... You want them on blue and yellow gems and ones that are by each other at that rate eh, of course he would so now we can make five random yellow into blue And we do got one down there, so four, five, six, seven with uh, Trickster Andre coaching him. Oh, and then he gets, and then he gets that. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Get him out of here. Oh, of course. See, here we go. Here we go. With my gems doing no damage when he gets the pin. We're going to do this little yes flip again. We definitely got blue on the board here. Look at that. We can get one too, Andre. We can get one too. Let's go ahead and do the submission again. There's no yellow on the board. Now he can break these blues... Uh, but we're just going to see if he chooses to do that or not. Because I don't think he will. Oh, he does. He's, they're getting a little smarter. Okay, yes, flip again. And... Watch that one. Bop! That's full blues again. Good thing he's got like 100 medals on right there. 176 gem damage down to 102. And see, his sub was about to be ready again, so we're going to go ahead and put our sub back on. Put one on yellow there, too. Throw him off a little bit. These subs going to multiply gems is actually pretty awesome. Now, you could definitely not use Matt Hardy, and you could use Sami Zayn like I was doing before, so you do way more damage with the finisher. But, for a recycling factor, do you see how, like, if you can just break one of those times four with your break, like, it's going to make you recycle so much better. See here, you could go for the finisher, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go for the recycle. Oh, and we dropped that too. That was perfect. That was actually perfect. This one's gonna, this one's definitely gonna pin him. Let's see if it's it, because if it's not, he's getting the running knee when he gets up. If not, he is definitely getting the running knee when he gets up. All right, guys, that's it. What did you think about Daniel Bryan Acro? I actually, I like him a lot. If you uh, if you don't have a lot of top tier options up there in your Acrobat situation, he's pretty good. Like, if you still have him and Rollins as your best two, this is your best at this point, like getting up there. You see uh, an all blue move set at five star. That's completely awesome. As well as... The other move set with the multiply gems and the double green moves that was actually super awesome as well but if you're just gonna get gem damage nerfed that yellow with the double greens there might not be the best option because if you know that's your bread and butter on that set is doing the high gem damage so if you guys aren't already why don't you consider subscribing to the channel it's the red box right below the video player it says subscribe just click on it you have to be logged into YouTube 
takes you like a minute to make an account if you don't have one and then you can enter all my giveaways and whatnot too so while you're down there subscribing drop an insane elbow right down on that like button for me that stuff helps me out so much if you can do that for me guys so uh yeah with that being said join my discord server the link is down in the description below and you can suggest to me some guys that you want to see five star videos on in the future so until next time guys peace